Greetings, this is Hugh Ballou, founder and president of Center Vision Leadership Foundation. These nonprofit exchange hangouts are to open our eyes to new paradigms in nonprofit leadership. This is for you if you're clergy leading a religious institution, if you're a nonprofit executive director or president of a local charity or cause based organization. And maybe you're doing philanthropic work as a business person. The same skill set applies. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Center Vision Leadership Foundation. It's uh, an organization I founded about f five years ago in 2010-11. And the whole purpose of this organization is to provide high quality skills and systems in the form of training, uh, empowerment, um, personal development, interaction, networking, a lot of different ways to provide value to those of you who are leading a charity, a cause-based organization, or a religious institution. It's providing high value with low cost. The number one value is, is a magazine. Uh, that's the number one value. I was going to say the community, but it's Nonprofit Professional Performance Magazine. There's a link on the website for the magazine. I encourage you to go and sign up for the magazine. You can read it for free on a flip file online. The online community Center Vision Leadership is where this, this podcast is being held. This hangout um, is being held there is a chance to join this community of community builders. You can join for free and get limited access to a few articles and a few videos. For $8 a month, you get the magazine for free mailed to your address. You get a plethora of articles and discounts on trainings and a whole video library. And for $48 a month, you get a high-level facilitated mastermind membership where you get to participate on a regular basis with other people in similar space to you. The value that Center Vision, let me talk about that word a minute. It's the word synergy. S-Y-N-E-R is the first part of synergy. And you put it with vision. We get Center Vision. It's the, it's the integration of the vision and the performance to get the synergy. We represent this collaborative sense of planning and implementing. Doing a strategic plan with your board is the only way. It is modeling what we call a new architecture of engagement. I want to give you a snapshot of four leadership principles I've developed after spending 40 years in church music ministry as a music conductor hiring major orchestras in the cities where I worked, Atlanta, St. Pete, Florida, Huntsville, Alabama, and doing guest conducting in Europe. My degree is in choral music with experience in orchestral uh, conducting as well because we put those together for the grand events in the big megachurches where I served. These four leadership principles can be transposed from the conductor's podium to the boardroom. First principle, the conductor steps on the podium, know the score. We know where we're going. We have a clear vision. We can articulate that vision. We have it in writing so everybody in the room knows what to do, what to play, how fast, how loud, when. And then when the conductor picks up the baton and gives the cue, people know what to do. I work with lots of organizations that have the strategy in one person's head and what to do is a mystery for most people. They do what they think they ought to do, and it's not exactly in that synergy of the common vision. Know the score is the foundation. Have a plan, articulate the plan, know where you're going. And the other part of the foundation is having the skill set to lead this enterprise, no matter what kind of enterprise we need to develop a unique skill set to lead it. And it's not exactly what we've been taught. Reframing leadership as influence, reframing leadership as results, reframing leadership as a pathway to revenue, 
we've got to create revenue. In charities, there's eight different streams of income. It's not just donations. It's not just grants. There are many others, and we'll talk about those in subsequent sessions of the nonprofit exchange. First pillar is foundations. Know where you're going, have a plan, build a plan with your board, build a plan with your major stakeholders, build a plan with your staff, and then work on your skill set. In order to transform an idea, we must begin by transforming ourselves first. Second principle is hire the best. When I hired these orchestras in these major cities, I hired the best players because I wanted the best music. So I hired the best players, gave them music, gave them a reason to perform at a high level. This number two principle is about relationships. Leadership, ministry, community action is based on relationship. Communication has its foundation in relationship. Funding, revenue, sales is a result of a trusted relationship. Relationship is the essential pillar, the second principle. It is building and maintaining effective relationships. We have the plan. We hire the best. They're specified in the plan. The competency matching the culture. We've defined the culture with our values and principles. And then expectations. That's the third. The third principle is rehearse for success. It's about systems. We take really good vision and really good people and we put them in a system where they can't function at their highest level. I'm an encourager of people to put in just as much work in the system. It's the implementation where we fail, where we compromise results, where we really limit people's ability to perform at the level of their capabilities. Therefore, we have boards that function lower than the board members want it to function, and we get stuck in this trap. I teach, and one of these nonprofit exchanges will be on Hughes 10 Tips for conducting power-packed meetings. It's the team influence. How do you supercharge your team? You let them perform. It's like a musical rehearsal. We let them perform. Fourth pillar is about value the rest. It's about creating value in those places where we're not working. Rests in music are there for a very distinctive reason. Rests are in music aren't just the absence of sound. It's a punctuation point. That's balance in life. Balance makes the other three principles work. Balance means balancing our personal life and our work life. We don't want to work all the time. We shouldn't work all the time. And we compromise our results when we work all the time. Balance is about physical, mental, spiritual, the whole being. Balancing self. Balance is about managing multiple priorities and not over-functioning when you have somebody with the capability. It's called micromanaging. Balance makes everything else work. So those four principles, foundations, relationships, systems, and balance. If you can master those four principles, you can be a better leader. Transform yourself, transform your ability to lead this organization above your current ability. I work with leaders on four continents. Those leaders excel when they work on themselves transform themselves, and are constantly working on improving their skills and their systems. That's the whole policy, the whole philosophy, the whole passion behind Center Vision Leadership Foundation. We care. We want to provide value. Help us out. Join the community. Participate. Let us know what you want. CenterVisionLeadership.org. 
Center Vision, S Y N E R V I S I O N, centervisionleadership.org. Click on the link, become a member, become an active member, communicate with us. This is Hugh Ballou, president and founder of Center Vision Leadership Foundation, with this episode of the Nonprofit Exchange. We'll see you on the next one.